Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today, we will present 10 things that every Cebuano and those interested in Cebuano history should know about the genealogy of their governors. already had 27 governors, although two of these, Governor Osmundo Rama and Governor Gwendolyn Fiel Garcia, have served twice. So technically, there just have been 25 unique governors in Cebu. So like a microcosm, the genealogies of Cebu's governors reflect the amalgamation of races that is descriptive of the Filipino genealogy makeup. An interesting aspect of Cebuano politics is the interrelatedness of several governors. Here are the 10 things you should know about the genealogies of Cebu's past and present governors. Four governors of Cebu have proven Spanish ancestors. Governor Julio Llorente was a first-generation Mestizo Español, the son of an India Argawanon and a Peninsular, Seferino Llorente y Camara, who was from the town of Covaleda, from the province of Soria, Castile and Leon, Spain. Governor Buenaventura Rodriguez was a second-generation Mestizo Español. His grandfather, José Rodriguez y Álvarez, was a Spaniard who was born in Linares, Asturias, Spain. And finally, Governors Pablo and daughter Gwen Garcia are third- and fourth-generation descendants of Don Pablo Antonio Garcia, who was from Ciudad Real, Ciudad Real, Spain. Five governors have Mestizo Chinese roots. The Osmeñas have been longtime residents of Parian, Cebu, known to be the preferred place of residence of the Mestizo Sanglees or the Chinese Mestizos. However, it is possible that the Chinese ancestry of the Osmeñas already go back several generations. The Klimako family's Chinese ancestry, however, is not so far removed. Governor Juan Klimako's grandfather and great-grandfather of Governor Arsenio Klimako, Juan Quico Klimako was the first Chinese in the Klimako family. Three. There are three father-child tandems among the governors of Cebu. Sergio Osmeña I was Cebu's third governor while his son Sergio Osmeña II was the 15th. Mariano Jesus Cuenco was the 7th governor of Cebu, while his son, Dr. Manuel Cuenco, was the 14th. And finally, Governor Pablo Garcia was the 24th governor of Cebu, while his daughter, Gwendolyn Fiel Garcia, was 25th who followed him immediately after his three terms. Gwen Garcia, after two terms as Congresswoman, once more returned as the 27th Governor of Cebu.
Number four. There is one father-son, uncle-nephew tandem among the governors of Cebu. Emilio Lito Osmeña, grandson of Sergio Osmeña I and nephew of Sergio Osmeña Jr., served as the 22nd governor of Cebu from 1988 to 1992. Until this day, the Osmeña family is the only family to have produced three generations of governors of Cebu. Number 5. There is one uncle-nephew tandem among the governors of Cebu. Governor Juan Climaco was the older brother of Valeriano Climaco, who was the father of Governor Arsenio Climaco. Number 6. There is also one brother-brother tandem among the governors of Cebu. Governors Fructuoso and Sotero Cabajo were the sons of Narciso Cabajo and Cirila Barte of Mandawe, Cebu. Number 7. Seven governors of Cebu are related to the Chong Veloso family. The Chong Veloso family was one of the richest Chinese mestizo families in Cebu at the turn of the century. Seven governors are in fact related to them in one way or the other. Sergio Osmeña I and Governor Jose Leyson were married to members of the Chong Veloso family. Sergio Osmeña was married to Doña Estefania Chong Veloso, Well, Governor Leyson was married to Lourdes Chong Veloso Vélez. Sergio Osmeña Jr. and his nephew Lito Osmeña are the son and grandson of a Chong Veloso. Meanwhile, Governor Buenaventura Rodriguez's uncle, Don Pedro Rodriguez, married Doña Tomasa Chong Veloso. While Pablo Garcia's grand aunt, Doña Encarnacion Garcia, married Januario Chong Veloso, brother of the wife of Don Sergio Osmeña. That would also make Gwen Garcia related to the Chong Velosos. Number 8. Eleven governors are related to the Veloso family. The Velosos, not to be confused with the Chong Velosos, were another rich mestizo family from Cebu, but this time there were Mestizo Español. They certainly have the most number of connections to politicians and other well-known personalities. Two governors, René Espina and Arsenio Climaco, were velosos by virtue of their mothers. Governor Manuel Cuenco is married to a Veloso. And the eight other governors, Sergio, Sergio Osmeña I and the others, are connected to the Veloso family by marriage. Number nine. Six governors of Cebu are related through the Argao connection. The final connection of governors can be called the Argao connection. This is because at least six governors 
have some connection to families from Argao, Cebu. Three governors, Francisco Remotigue, Julio Llorente, and Hilario Davide III have Argawanon blood. Remotigue is a full-blooded Argawanon, while Llorente and Davide are half-blooded Argawanons. Meanwhile, Arsenio Climaco married an Argawanon, while Governors Dionisio Hakosalem and Eduardo Gullias have relatives who married into Argawanon families. And number 10, Governor Abellana's ancestors most likely include Raja Humabon. Governor Hilario Abellana was the 10th governor of Cebu. His family, the Abellanas, have been residents of San Nicolas for centuries. In fact, it is believed and claimed by some old families in Cebu that the Abellanas are one of the oldest clans in Cebu and are descended from Raja Tupas and thus from Raja Humabon. The Abellanas are among several families claiming descent from Humabon, and these include the following families. Unfortunately, since all the old records of Cebu were destroyed by the Americans when they bombed most of downtown Cebu during World War II, this claim is impossible to prove as of the moment. We have the 10 things that you need to know about the genealogies of the governors of Cebu province. We hope you enjoy this video and learn something from it. Stay tuned to more videos in the following days. Stay safe always and goodbye.